Hey everyone, John Moran here again. For all of those people who are wondering what else can I do with Google, I have another video for you today of what you can Google ads to your Google campaign. I'm horrible at titles. Anyway, what I'm gonna share with you today is how to do a countdown ad. Now, this is gonna be something that's really cool. Uh, you wanna use it for short term because if it's evergreen, you're like counting for like 500 days and it doesn't make sense. So if you have a launch or if you have some sort of contest or competition or a special offer, free trial, whatever it is, um, I'm going to show you how to create a search ad that actually has a countdown timer in it that counts down the days to a specific day that you can use to say, you know, one day left or two days left or three days left, whatever it may be. And every single day that goes towards that day, it counts down that time. So obviously that's how a countdown works. <laughs> Surprised to know that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to make it inside of Google ads right now. So I have a ad here. Um, this is actually in our campaign. So just ignore the stuff underneath here. Um, but I wanted to share with you how you can actually get this to pop up in ads. So if you had, um, let's say, um, so I'm gonna just type in before launch. And what you do is you hold down shift and then hit this little bracket here. Um, if you can't find the bracket, Probably shouldn't be running Google Ads. <laughs> no. uh, it's on the keyboard, just hold down shift and it's next to the bracket. So here's the countdown. So insert a timer that counts down to an event. And when you click on that, you can say, um, you have, you know, countdown ends on, let's say the ninth or whatever, let's see, um, you know, countdown ends on the 10th, whatever it may be. Uh, and then you can actually uh, count, the countdown starts X days before countdown end date. So you can have it start on a, the 10 days, nine days, whatever it may be. Uh, and then you can actually have it in the uh, account time zone or the ad viewers time zone. I'd probably recommend the ad viewers because otherwise, you know, it's something that is might not be relevant. So you can do it in this type of language, you know, example, three days, 10 hours, five minutes. Um, and you can set this, this sequence here to be whatever that you would like it to be. Start of the day, end of day, custom time, um, a lot of different, um, a lot of variations that you can actually that you can actually place in here to develop a countdown and it shows you this little preview here like three days before launch and now you might want to use sentence case rather than title case like i did here i just have a habit to do a title case um but what's nice about this is whatever the time is let me just apply this here um it'll actually count down to that date and then you'll see the ad preview here let me see if i can get like a different preview yeah, three days before launch um i don't think that this will actually update uh let me do like the 17th and then apply yeah, it doesn't really give you variations of it, but you'll be able to see actually, you know, obviously when the when the ads complete, what it looks like. Um, but really, really cool feature um, because this is something that, again, if you're looking to drive a lot of ad spend to a very particular event, let's say you're running a you know a training event or a webinar or whatever it may be, and you know and you want to develop some hype and you want to drive a lot of ad spend to it, but you want this thing to not have to be like. Okay, and I have to stop that ad and then start the ad that says two days. Okay, I have to stop that ad and then start the ad that says one day left. Um, having a little countdown, imagine, you know, X days left of the sale, X days to achieve, you know, 40% off, uh, X days to join before webinar goes live. You know, all those different variations. If you're running a, you know, competitive campaign or a brand campaign or whatever you would like to, to have a countdown timer to any sort of specific event, sale, promotion, you can use this to then count down. I would just recommend setting a uh, a timer that you know ends that ad uh, on that specific day. You can do that in rules if you'd like. Uh, you just remember and hop in and, and turn that off. But this is an ad that you'll wanna make sure that you are monitoring closely. And if you wanted to have a short window of seven days at a lot of ad spend, maybe have three different variations of this ad so you can test it. Um, make sure that you're doing your, your normal A-B testing, your split testing inside of it. But this is a way for you to have a really cool feature that um, probably not a lot of people know about inside of Google Ads. So uh, this is how to do countdown ads with John Moran and Solutions 8. If you like more of these videos, please like, comment, share, subscribe to all the fun stuff that we like you monkeys to dance through to make us happy and stroke our egos. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Bye.